Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we're going to play a little more To the Moon. I just had a massive breakfast. It was like bacon and eggs and a bagel and orange juice. And uh, it was good. It was real good. Dude, I love breakfast. So in the game right now, we are trying to connect the childhood memory of Johnny to his other memories. It smells. Quit barging in and out of the doors or out of doors. The roadkill, Eva, it smells. I know, it's your fault. You're for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at, it was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense of memory recall. We can use it as the stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. <coughs> Excuse me. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I think I'm missing something vital... vital... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Are they gonna go grab the roadkill and like smelling salted dude like in front of his face? All right, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Oh, that's right. Yes, I'll just wait. Why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly. I've already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. <laughs> um, if it helps any, I. I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. <laughs> really, don't make us run down there and grab the roadkill. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that probably that'll probably change after this. Oh my god, we really got to go down there, carve out a piece of this thing. All right, here we go. Yesterday I played some of the Resident Evil. Four remake on the Oculus Quest 2 and it was fantastic absolutely fantastic I do believe I am going to play it for the channel but I have to do two important things first I need to finish this to the moon and I need to finish the troll and I because I want to do Resident Evil and I want to do a Metroid Dread hard run Cause I've been fiending to get back into Dread. I binged it like the first week it came out to beat it. And now I have no reason to go back to it unless I want to just play by myself. Not that I don't like playing by myself. The kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valved container in the car. It at least make it's odor controllable. Gosh, I'm having trouble like reading today. What's up with the brain? <clears throat> Where are you going? I, I gotta go take a leak. Wow, the, the bedside manner on that one. She's like, oh, wait, what? He's figured something out, I think. What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Received valved container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. What's this thing, though? This. Painkillers. Ew. Finally, Dr. Watts' big reveal. He actually is going to be part of the program next. Uh, received contained roadkill odor. I don't want anything more to do with this. I don't want anything more to do with this. I don't, just kidding. So we're going to run into Dr. Watts here. And he's going to be like, get out of the way, I'm hurting. I wonder what does he, he, does he have like cancer or something, dude? I mean, that's like sad. But it would explain why he's been an asshole this whole time. Because he's been, you know, hurting. 
Here we go. The big confrontation. Found this bottle of painkillers in the car, love. Drop something, Dr. Waltz. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great. Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Neil. At least painkillers, I think. Hey. May I ask why you are on them? I wasn't going to tell you, but... Oh, this is embarrassing. A few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. You just walked into a wall like that? What can I say? I was in deep thought. You know how deeply I think. These are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was a rather strong concrete wall. Oh, he's lying. Twas a match made in heaven, I say. Anyways, you got the roadkill, right? Let's hurry. John's dying back there. Neil. You aren't addicted, are you? Are you kidding me? I'd overdose before I'd sink to that level of contrived mess. Hmm. We'll see. The plot thickens with Mr. Neil. I don't know how I feel about that. I was kind of cool with Neil being this, like, asshole, funny accessory character. Maybe he learns a lesson. I wasn't looking for a deep connection to Neil. But, hey, maybe it's what I need. So when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. Oh, God. <clears throat> Is this going to work? About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. Really? Okay. Back into the brain space we go. Act 4. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses. And at me. What does it all mean? Let's go. Got. Well, that was easy. Oh, now we're doing, now we're doing, we're doing this bit. That's not it. What was it? Okay, we're back. We had to take a little break because, um, well, maybe you didn't even know I was back because I cut it in, but I got trapped here because I couldn't get into this kid's room and it looks like you just had to go right here. So we're just not smart people. So here we go. Connecting up the memories, spray the smell and salts of roadkill, and let's get it on, dude. Make sure everything's recording. Yep, we're good. Cool. So we connected to the old soccer ball. Now we're back to our kitty times. To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose all we do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Signal the smelling salts. The tube of death. Oh, what was that? Uh-oh. Something's happening. Earthquake? Something's happening. Quick, send it again. Oh, this is bad, dude. What happened? Are we dying? Doctor, something's wrong. Yeah, no shit. What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Uh-oh. This is a twist I didn't see coming. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory now. Why? What are you talking about? If the system doesn't stabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. Oh, that's us. You gotta be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before, Johnny. Oh, you freaking. Don't pull that contrived crap on me. 
This ain't a movie and you're not a hero. No hero, you're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what we get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. So, Neil... Neil's probably on his way out too, would be my guess. So he'll stay behind and they'll have to have a heart-to-heart -heart about it. That would be my guess. Is that true? I don't know. Doctor? I think we're okay for now. Uh-oh. The lighthouse. Or are we in the memory now? And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wow. Wait a minute. Yeah, and that last Christmas party, you... Man, I haven't been to a company Christmas party in years. They were always fun, though. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> you had it coming, Neil. Alright, so how do we get across? Do we do something with the ball now? Alright, we're just going to follow this little part here and hopefully there's a bridge down here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. What? No? Okay, maybe we just go this way? Man, this is like the kid's room all over again. I just don't know where to go. Okay. Can't go this way. Can we? Oh no, not this crap again. So what, I walk all the way up to the top? Maybe to the side? And no? Oh, come on, man. This is exactly what happened with the boys' room. There's like one spot here that might let us cross. But God knows where the hell it is. But there's this soccer ball that I can't do anything with now, right? So if I go this way... Nothing. 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 Oh my god, this is sad. I should have pulled some cards for this, dude. What's the calendar say? Action greases the wheel of life. Don't wait for the mood to strike. Don't get stuck looking for that magical, magic feeling that will do the work for you. Simply act. Okay, so we're just going to keep trying to go down here. And we can't. Shocker. So I need to get over here. Oh, this is like a line here. Does this mean I can cross here? Why does this game hate me right now? Like, come on, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. What, now the soccer ball's gone too? No, it's right here. Maybe we gotta kick it. Is it moving? Here goes nothing. What a pain in the ass was that? I walked around the whole screen, found nothing. And it was at the soccer ball the whole time. Boy. No more of that stuff. Please. All right, we're here, childhood. I'm gonna have to cut this thing like three times. So we actually made it, but now I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd about Johnny's room earlier? Or what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I don't remember seeing anything weird. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Oh man, I should have paid attention. Let's see, so he's here with his mom. 
I think that's his mom. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You got, you've got to take them there one day. Take them where? The lighthouse? Let's see. Sheesh, the time overlaps getting out of hand. Look how many of him there are. It's like a zoo. Mm-hmm. Ha, huh, looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just chasing it. That's odd. More roadkill. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice, I hope. Oh, so the roadkill linked him to this memory because there was some on the street. Okay. Oh, geez, look at the time. I better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Martha? Oh, no. How do you know that name? Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place is so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit, duh. We need to go back now. Go back now to what? What? Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Uh-oh, here it comes. It's all going to come together. So, does he get, like, hit by a car? By his own mom? What? Oh no. This is bad. Okay, so he did get smacked. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Wait, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey. Oh no, I'm getting the goosey bumps. Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why'd you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey. Wake up. Oh no. That's so sad. So his mom backed into the brother? Is he dead? Joey? Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had beta blockers erase these memories, not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. Oh... That's why the Joey stuff was going on. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it in here. Let's move on. Receive note, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd, it's not putting up a barrier anymore. I don't jinx it. Wait. So... Oh, now we're way back. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. 
I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Man, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to the boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, rah, 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 and rah, again. And they pick up, and then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, okay. Stop that. Just watch, Johnny. One day I'm going to be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. It'll ma I'll make us rich and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What? You're still mad about the other day? Ooh, what happened the other day? Oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter, in the time we went fishing? And okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oh, let's go confuse the neighbors. <laughs> if I had a twin, we would definitely do that. Wait, in the rain? Yeah, in the rain, come on. Uh oh I don't want my my laptop to make a bunch of noise. Got to mute. Done. Didn't wasn't like River reading the animal or like looking somebody was looking for the animal stuff like in the library. You remember that? Okay, the train. I see we got to grab the train. But for some reason I can't again. Okay, there we go. Jeez, dude. It's like they stopped putting the little, like, marks above stuff and just making it kind of like this little shiny thing and you never know where to go. Ooh, we're at the carnival. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Oh, you ruined it. All right, so we're at a carnival. Assuming this has something to do with the boys. What's up, fellas? See, quotation mark, I like that. But I don't want the stupid toy. I don't want, I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want it to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won at fair and square, didn't he? But I won too, he just went first. It's okay, I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Oh, God. Okay, you dumplings, don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. You know what? I'm going to call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. What is this, the fortune teller? No way, I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'd be screwed either way. Ah, yes. Fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh my. Come on, I'm getting both of you treats. Hey, where's my tip? Sorry, Mr. Wizard. Oh. We found a memory. And now we go find more memories at the barbecue. Jeez, they walked fast. Where'd they go? 
requires three bars of memory links to proceed. Okay. So, what are we looking for? Is this the treat tent? They got some playground stuff. There's this person. That Ferris wheel doesn't look safe. Bears, fruits, fresh fruits, apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute. Tomatoes aren't fruits. Or, yeah, they are. They are the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. Oh, Dr. Watts is part of a, uh, a cooking club, perhaps? All right. Three memory links. Okay. So what do I gotta talk to this person? Can't go in there. Hey, this is not, is that whack-a-mole? Whack-a-what? Whack-a-mole, take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. How people blew off steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Would you like to play whack a mole? Sure. Oh! A mini game! There's only one mole. Oh man, I gotta put some put some put some steam on it, dude. Here we go. Gotta get 200. Quick, faster than that. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just in time, dude. Got it. I'd use the super smash finger to do that one. Well done. You're at 103 points. Now record new record. You won the first prize. Your efforts. You get a hamster trophy and platypus dolls. Well, Neil, are you ready to admit how good I am? I really love this, don't you? It's a total unimpressed, unimpeded memento link. Shut up and give me my trophy. All right. So what, we just gotta keep doing this weird shit forever? Okay, does this person talk? Welcome and behold the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. <laughs> Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. Alright, we got three memory bars. Now we can go down to the other section. Something happened in the development of this game. Like, the dialogue changed to be more juvenile. The challenges got weirder. The indicators are gone. I'm, I, I'm curious what the change was. Like, did they have to, uh... Get some different people to work on it? Would be my question. Yeah, something is definitely weird. Here we go. A snack. Mm-hmm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Huh? Now I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Did he try one? I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and do not an inch too far. Just leave that bag, I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine, I want it. So that's why we have the pickled olives. Something is, something is off. Where's the playground? Is it over here? Five bars? Oh my, some, some ice cream.
Oh, I bet the other one is uh, at the other section. Oh, there, never mind. It was right there. And no rhyme or reason why. See? It's like everything was together, and now it's all kind of falling apart, even at the game level. I mean, the dialogue included the word pretty ghetto. That's weird. On the swings, boy. What? No swing? Where's he going? Okay, so he just jumped across. That's fine. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? Wait, what's, where, where, where is he going? Okay. Wow. Wow, what? He brings something for the birds? Whoa. Well, okay. So he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of my city that we'd stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did, mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping, and he hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> You're terrible. I do. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, swear word. I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Who's this? Hello. Whoa, is that Baby River? Wait, don't go. It, I'm Johnny, what's your name? River, you're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Oh, so they met when they were kids. But he had no memory of it. No wonder he was so drawn to her. John, just look at them. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. 
I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have some name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. I suppose. What do you think those stars up there- What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. Kangaroos are real. Have I ever seen a kangaroo outside a zoo? No. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things, never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and I see it. Where? In the sky. Duh. Uh, where, where in the sky? The big. Think big. Bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. That right there. There are the two ears in the head. What else? And there, there, it's two feet. What else? And the moon, the moon, it's big round belly. Okay, so this is getting kind of long, so we're going to take a break here, and when we come back, we're going to see what the outcome of our little conversation here with Baby River is. Until next time, friends, take care.